Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. This is the second video where we're going to be using this thing here, which is a Boss Pocket GT. In the first video, we created a high gain sound, and in this video, we're going to create a clean sound. So let's get to it. I'm starting from a blank patch, and the sounds like this. It's the same sound we started with in the last video, and that in itself is a really usable clean sound but I'm going to take it a little bit further and just create a sound that I would actually like to use or record with. I'm going to start by getting my amp tone sorted first. Now I've gone through a lot of these different amps and they're all really usable, but for clean sounds, I really like this Pro Crunch. So it starts off sounding like this. Right, what I'm going to do is just to bring back the bass a little bit and let's turn up the presence. Unlike the last video with this amplifier, we've actually got this bright switch that we can turn on. I'm just going to give it a little bit more gain as well. I think Boss have done a really good job in choosing the speaker types for this, so I'm just going to leave the speaker type on original. Next, I'm going to have a look at the reverb, and already the reverb switched on with the plate setting. It sounds like this. Now, we've got a lot of different choices, but as I want to create quite an ambient sort of clean sound, I'm going to click here and choose modulate. Right, let's turn up the effects level. And I don't want so much low end from the reverb, so I'm just going to bring up the low cut a bit. It's quite a nice modulated reverb, sort of like a lexicon sort of sound, but I'm just going to bring up the reverb time a little bit. And now let's have a look at the delay. So let's switch on the delay. Like last time, I'm going to switch over to the pan setting as I want a stereo delay. Now I want to do the opposite with the delay. I want to take away some of the high end information from the delay repeats. So let's bring the, uh, the high cut down to 3.15K. So we're getting there with the tone, but I think we could have a little bit of compression with FX1. And let's switch it on to the, the light setting. I really believe that the light compressor in a lot of the Boss products is normally the best choice as it's a really natural sounding compressor. You might be thinking, well, that's a little bit crunchy, but what I can do is to turn back the volume control. And if I want to bring any more gain, I could just turn up the volume. Now I'm just going to bring back the level just a little bit, just so I'm not driving into the front of the amp. And there's one last effect that I'd like to bring in. So I'm going to go to my FX2 block here. Let's turn that on. And I'm going to change this to tremolo. Now, Boss have been quite clever with this tremolo because what they've done is they've given you a few different options. You can have like an AC30 style tremolo, or you can have more of a Fender style tremolo. Your AC30 tremolo is going to be with the wave at more towards 100%. And your Fender style tremolo is going to be back towards null. Right, let's bring back the rate. Thank you. 
So there you have it. That's a sound that I'd be really happy to record with. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.